Three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bold Talk by Joe. Hopefully, everybody's doing great. In today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about politics, something that I really dislike. I hate talking about politics. I hate everything about politics. It just seems to be that uh, it seems to me that everybody just wants to take advantage of us, the people, and that uh, when they get elected, they forget about us. Their number one job, what they're going in there is to help us, the people, right? And it doesn't seem like it's that way. I know that in uh, all this stuff going on, all these elections going on, and people are uh, voting for their governors and for whatever, you know, and I just dislike the fact that things are done the way they are. And let me tell you a little, let me tell you why I dislike it. One of them is every time you turn on the TV, there's commercials. There, There's commercials about each other's parties, and they're constantly bashing each other. They're constantly talking smack to each other. They're, oh, this guy used to, you know, steal, or, oh, this guy didn't pay this, or this guy made fraud in his taxes. It's all what it's about. And every debate, and every time they go out there and do a rally, it's talking smack about the other person, talking smack about the other candidate, you know, fake news, and the fake media, and the fake this, and the fake that, and and the newspapers are bullshit, and everybody's bullshit, and the other party is bullshit. It's like, that is what we listen to. We don't want to listen to it. And I'm going to just speak for myself because I know I'm saying we, but I don't want to listen to that anymore. I am tired of it. We had years of this, of a president that all he constantly did was talk smack about everybody. Yes, at first you were like, wow, this guy, you know, he's going in there. He's not a politician. He's going to take care of business. He's putting everybody in their place. But the problem was is that he did that the whole term. And not only that, but he just continued and continued and continued, and he attacked news people. He attacked polit- polit- politicians, you know, other people. I mean, it's just constant, constant. And then both sides, they attacked the guy. He would attack. He will. He will strike back, and they would say something bad about him, and he would strike back again. And it was constant. And we're tired of it. These rallies that were being held, and like for instance here in Arizona, and these people, all they were concerned about, look. Look, fake news. Look what they're look what they're putting about me. Look, this is a lie. They're just they're liars and blah blah. And you you are a reporter. You should know better. And you're you're making up bullshit. You're fake news. And stop it. Stop it. Republicans are still caught up with what happened two years ago. That's fraud. Decertify. Trump won. It was two years ago. Move on. No one gives a shit anymore. Stop focusing on that. It doesn't show us that you're like trying to make things better. Instead of doing that bull crap, why don't you just focus on the goal on what you're gonna on what you're gonna do for the American people and what you're gonna do for your people of your state? Why don't you just focus on that? Stop focusing on what happened two years ago. Stop focusing on on Joe Biden's people and, and, and everybody that works with him. Focus on you. The number one priority is for you to get into office. That's the number one priority for you to get into, you know, to be a governor, for you to be a, a, in Congress, for you, whatever it is that you're trying to do. That's your number one focus is to get in there. It's not for you to bash everybody on the way there and then talk shit in the rally and all this stuff. And then, of course, people are going to be like, yeah, yeah. Fucking swamp, drain it. You know, stop it. That's over. We need somebody normal, somebody that is a lot less of a politician and it's a lot more caring for the people of their state or their country. That's what we're looking for. We don't want the person that we're going to vote for, for them to just talk shit about them all day. We want you to talk to us. Forget about the person that's talking shit about you that's next to you. You focus on us and what you're going to do for us and what you're going to change for us. Be the bigger person. 
be the bigger person. I am pretty sure that you would win and you would get more votes if you were the bigger person and you did a lot less talking shit and a lot more talking goals and what you're going to provide for us and what you're going to do for us and how you're going to change things and how are you going to pave the roads and how are you going to do whatever and how are you going to make oxygen out of whatever. It doesn't matter. We want people to do good for us. We want people to do good for this country, not constantly fight each other because this is the problem. Then you have these people, they win and then the, the other, the other party wins. And then what happens? They never agree on shit. So they're constantly fighting with each other on trying to pass bills on trying to pass laws on trying to pass this. And they're always fighting with each other. Well, remember that person? Remember when they voted no for that five years ago, screw them, screw them. It's all about revenge. It's revenge politics. It's Republicans against the Democrats. It's revenge about everything. Well, I remember when remember when that senator did this? Remember when they tried to do this? Well, vote no. Nay. Nay. Stop it. We are not in fucking Great Britain. Just say no, damn it. No. Yes or no. That's all you got to say. Stop acting stupid. Just say yes or no. Okay, that's all you got to do. Stop making it about yourself. These politicians go in there and they're regular people and they come out as millionaires. How do you how do how are you a millionaire? How are you supposed to you're supposed to be making a certain amount of money and you're a millionaire? And then people complain, well, oh, my God, I, you know, there's people, nothing ever changes. And there's a, you're voting for the same fucking people. Over and over and over again. Nothing is ever going to change, folks. Nothing's ever going to change because you're voting for the same people constantly. If they didn't do shit before, they're not going to do it now. They're just going to talk so you can vote for them. That's all this is about. It's so you can, so they can get your vote. He's going to change things. And then you're like, ah, screw him. He's, oh, man, this sucks. They, said they have the same. They, nothing ever changes. Nothing ever changes because nobody, any, anybody, nobody elects anybody else. It's the same damn people constantly over and over again. These people in politics are like a million years old. They have the same views. Their grandpa, their great grandpa, their great great grandpa, they they all voted blue. Their grandpa, their grandpa, their great grandpa, their grandma, their uncles, they all voted red. They have the same view. It's a tunnel vision. And people in this country, they're we're going to be vote red. They don't even give a shit about the other candidate what he has to say. They just going to vote for the fucking color. They're going to vote for the party. That's all they're going to do. We can't let a Democrat in office. He's going to take my guns. That's what we fucking vote for. The stupidity. And then you wonder why. You wonder why we're like this. Why we're constantly fighting with each other. Why nothing ever changes. Because you never you never pick. You never vote for anybody else with a fresh idea. With, a, with somebody that goes out there and talks. And has goals. And is actually going to do something. You know how many people we probably didn't vote for. That probably would have been great presidents. Great senators, great governors, great whatever, a shit ton. But they never win. Because why? Because I feel like Americans like to be lied to. That's what it is. If you're not lying to us, we're not gonna vote for you. You gotta lie for you gotta lie to us. I'm going to drain the swamp. Vote. Vote for him. It's a fucking lie, people. Vote for the right person. It doesn't matter if he's Republican or he's a Democrat. Vote for the right person. The person that you think that, hey, you know what? I don't care if my family has voted Republican or Democrat or whatever this whole 60 years. I'm going to vote this way because I think this guy has a good head on his shoulders and or this 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 woman or this man have, you know, have good ideas. No. Instead, you vote for the other person for the because, because you you don't want to you hate Democrats. Just stop it, stop it. It's, nothing's ever going to change if we keep doing that. Nothing's ever change ever going to change if you keep electing the same damn people over and over and over again. It's never going to change. We need to make a change. We need to get people out there that are fresh, that have good ideas, that can work with both parties, left and right. No matter what party they're at, somebody that can 
bring people together and compromise. You know, you don't like this? No. You don't like this? No. Okay, so what is it that you can do? Well, I think we should do this. What do you think? I think we should do this. I don't like it. Okay, well, let's compromise. What can we do to get this bill passed that we both like? Boom. Okay, we like this. All right. Yay. We win. But no, it's like, well, look at him. Screw that guy. He, screw him. And you waste all this fucking time. You waste all this time and effort and all these days going up there talking about the stupid bills. And then you have to vote and there's one guy sitting in the back. Anybody in favor of the bill? Nay. Nay. Nay on the bill. Proposition 612. It's stupid. Stop it. Vote for the right person. Vote correctly. That's what we're doing wrong. We're voting the same way this whole time, and we're still stuck. We're still stuck. We're, we're Americans. We're supposed to be doing better. We're supposed to be doing the right thing for each other. Instead, these people are each other's throats and talking shit about each other and fake news and this and that and media and people. Yes, we get it. There's money in all this. There's a lot of money. There's a lot of people paying for this. There's a lot of people paying for that candidate. There's a lot of people paying for the other candidate. We get it. You scratch my, my back, I scratch yours kind of deal. It's what happens in politics, right? Well, let's not vote for those kinds of people. Let's vote for the people that have no ties to no one. Let's vote for the people that are going to not need anybody else's money and bullshit. That's somebody that can be fair and honest. That's what we need to do for this country, people. And that's why I hate politics, because politics is just a bunch of scam bullshit that goes around all the damn time. And it's the same damn people. Why are we even going to vote for another president? In the next two years. Why? It's going to be the same damn guys up there. We already know who they are. Just open up the fucking, open up the the voting places so we can just go and vote because we already know who you are. We don't give a shit. We don't care what you're going to say. You're going to do the same damn thing you've been doing forever. It's not going to change you if you're ever a governor or a senator and you're going to be a president. You're going to have the same views. It's not going to change shit. So might as well just open up the places so we can vote now and we can vote the guy in in the next two years. Here we go. You're ready to go. Well, why don't we why don't we debate? Why are we debating? You're going to fight against the other person. You're going to talk shit about this person and you're going to say everything's fake news. What's the point? We already know who you are. Might as well, right? Might as well do that because nothing's ever going to fucking change. So we need to get people out there. We need to look at the people that are we need to look at other people, people that have no chance on winning, people that maybe have a better view, that have a better goals, that have a better strategy, somebody that can get us out of this hole and make this a better country. That's all I got to say about politics. I hate politics. Vote correctly, people. Stop voting like idiots because your grand grandfather was Democrat and the other one was whatever. Vote correctly. That's the only way we're going to get this done, guys. Let's fucking save this fucking country. So we can live in peace instead of living in this kind of shit all day where the news is full of this crap. Peace.